guess who's back in the house with another mini feud story for your mouth sounded better on paper here we go guys we are back again for another mini feud story universe thing here the way we do it is we start a little story here we commence at the end and today we got brock lesnar versus goldberg or goldberg versus brock whatever way you want to spin it who you want to be on top we have the feud beginning now leading up to a match at survivor series okay the feud will conclude at survivor series now the other day we changed our sliders and everything so it might be a little bit better playing it um we're gonna play this one out we're not gonna actually play we're gonna see how this one concludes here with the night's story with brock and goldberg Brock has a promo on Raw in Reno, Nevada. Today, the rivalry begins. Brock Lesnar take it on Goldberg. Leading up to Survivor Series, we're going to see if this plays out as good as we think it's going to play out. We're hoping. We can hope that Brock and Goldberg is not a two-finger stinker. Wait, what was that saying? A four-finger stinker? I don't remember how it worked. I think it was a cornet line. Four-finger stinker. Jim Cornette, the breast in the biz. Now, I'm excited for this because we have a Brock Lesnar promo to kick off our Raw rivalry. Mini story feud thingy, but jigger. But it seems to be getting a positive response. I saw a lot of people like the New Day breakup. Let's, let's, let's not even. We're going to have a self promo from Curtis Axel. I am great. Got interrupted by Neville. Who would have thought? Now we have Brock's self promo promo he's gonna give himself a self high five brock lesnar without Heyman. i think is gonna come out here and cut a nice little promo let's see where this goes as brock lesnar is going to start it off with the beast incarnate running down goldberg i don't know if that's what's gonna happen we'll have to see as this goes and as this feud goes up to Survivor Series, we're going to do this little mini feud leading up to the actual Survivor Series. Here we go. Brock Lesnar coming out here in 100% beast mode. Coming out to cut a scathing promo on Goldberg. We don't know if that's going to happen. We can only assume. Is this going to be glorious or is it not going to be glorious? We'll find out here. I'm used to addressing kings, queens, presidents, and the elite of society. However, tonight, you'll have to do. My intellect is superior and my in-ring ability is superior. Everything about me is superior. All right, Brock, where are you going with this one? Poking the bear. I know you came here to sit and stuff your faces. And forget about your boring lives for a night. I'm sure you want to see an amazing superstar like me. That doesn't make you feel much better about yourself. But listen up because you're going to get a lesson from a winner. I feel like I've heard this before. Just a the WWE is really the WWE. It's all about me and it exists because of me. I want the name change and I want my name in the company name. I want billboards, arrays, private jets. I want to be treated like a king. Never heard this before. Say it. Say my name. Say my name in the... Just feel the fraction of the power and strength that flows through my veins. And my name, with respect and admiration, hear my name. And I feel the chills in your spine because you know you respect. You know my name re represents greatness. Brock, you're cutting the promo that we've heard before. I really, really, really wish I could care about y'all. I wish I could even hear your opinions. But Mama taught me better to listen to the opinions of peasants. Sorry. Interesting point. Brock Lesnar says he's a king and then he storms out and says, Aah! You know how it works. Brock Lesnar cut an awesome promo saying he's a king. WWE me. Never heard that before. We've heard it many times. Many, 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 many times. But that's the start of this first rivalry. What a great one. I'll tell you, sometimes it's hit or miss. But again, as I say in every WWE video we do here, Make sure you use the hashtag power of imagination because you can make things great if you believe that imagination is real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So just keep your mind open and we can all pretend 
that this is going to get great. Here we go. Brock and Goldberg going again on Monday Night Raw. Let's see what this is going to lead to. Oh, Brock and Goldberg have a face-off here on Monday Night Raw. We can assume this is some sort of face-off contract signing. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's go. Here we go with Monday Night Draw. Call it Monday Night Draw because you have to take a draw of beer to get through the show because it's three hours long. Don't you know? Brock Goldberg, Shane O'Mac wrestling at Survivor Series. Look at that. That, 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 that laugh. That frozen laugh on the screen. Tongue sticking out and everything. Brock Lesnar is here. Now all these mini feud stories, whatever you want to call them, rivalries, are not only going to be played by the CBU. The next one we actually have is very fun and we will make it cool. It's going to be something awesome. I won't tell you what it is, but it's going to be pretty cool. Let's get off of this. We only care about our feud. Some people want to see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, but not today, sir. Not today. Jericho and Finn, Goldberg, Brock are going to settle the war, the score here on Monday Night Raw. This is for kings and queens and whatever. Here it is, Goldberg Brock. The face-off tonight. So we're going to say that this one is just going to be like a face-off. I don't know how... Oh, there we go. Entrances was turned off. I should go turn them on. Here it goes. Brock and Goldberg here tonight. This just turned into a brawl. This was an unscheduled match. Power of imagination. Unscheduled match. Power of imagination. Unscheduled. Okay. Power of imagination. So we're just pretending that these two are just fighting here. Uh, the big build is uh, not leading up. This isn't a WCW feud where they do the big match right before the actual big match, you know, where they have the match happen on Raw, but then they're actually fighting on the pay-per-view. The, 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 you know what I mean? Those are, the, those are the best, right? Or the Thunders, you know? Or they did the, the Nitro ending, the Shivani ending, right? Wasn't it where it was like they would end the show and be like, Oh my, what's going to happen? Let's let's find out at the pay-per-view. We got to go. We're running out of time, folks. That's a thing I wish they would do again, right? Where they're just like doing stuff. They're fighting. They're brawling. Stuff's going on. And then you're just like, what's going to happen? Find out later. And then you got to wait to see what's going to happen at the pay-per-view. There's a good build, right? I don't know if they've done that in a while. But it just ended with a cliffhanger and people fighting and brawling and stuff. Let's let's do that. Oh, on the outside, Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg takes down Brock freaking Lesnar. And I wonder if Goldberg's gonna sport this attire at the next show, at the Survivor Series when he wrestles in real life, IRL. We should check it out. Again, remember, we tweaked the sliders and everything, so this game is going to be a little bit better. Basically, when you hit a finisher, it's like, boom, finisher is done! All right, so, today, we have the WWE Me promo that we've seen a thousand times, leading up to a match here on Raw. Now, again, we're just going to assume or use our power of imagination for fun that this is not really a sanctioned match. It's uh, unsanctioned. I think WWE's only had one unsanctioned match, I could believe, if I'm wrong. The one I remember is Triple H, Shawn Michaels, unsanctioned, meaning that if anything happens, the WWE is not liable. So that's what's going on here. We'll say this is unsanctioned match with a WWE official in there which honestly does not make any sense to have a WWE official in there so always had an idea that you need to do like a a brawl to end it all hardcore I don't know how you would end it but you need to do a match with no ref where it's just like until he gives up or taps out or says I quit you know that kind of thing like an I quit match but not an I quit match with a ref right you gotta you literally have to make it more realistic where like the ref's like all right you know what I'm not involved in this match this is so dangerous this is such a big deal match here this dangerous match this unsanctioned match call it an unsanctioned match no refs there 
one person just says I quit or I give up or whatever. There's not a microphone to say get them to say I quit. It's just like a brawl, and then we're like, I'm done. That's it. Then you're it. Either like break an arm or they make them tap or they say I quit. I mean, pins don't matter in this type of match. This is my idea for an unsanctioned match. Now I'm just rambling, but that's an idea I got by watching this. Oh, he busted Goldberg open. Let's see if that he, he gets busted hard way. Use those insider terms because I go to the, the wrestling dirt sheets online. No DQ Wrestling Inc. Wrestling Observer. Pro Wrestling Sheets. Oh, he's trying to return the favor. Use those insider kayfabe terms. I don't think that Brock and Goldberg really do like each other. I think that they're going to beat each other up for real. Use the kayfabe. Make everybody believe it's real. And then the world is watching. Oh, he, he's trying to he's trying to really beat him up. Since he got bloody, he's really trying to beat him up. Oh, that's it. That could be it. No, only a two count. It's gonna take a spear or a jackhammer or both to finish it. Does anybody remember WCW NWO Revenge? Probably my favorite in that AKI series. Just because of the roster. But that game was one of my favorites to play as Goldberg because you could just run around spear people and it made this really sick sound when you hit him. It was like, Bleh! it literally sounded like, oh, you caught him, capture suplex. It literally sounded like you you broke him in half by just, Bleh! like, I don't even know. I, that's not even a justice of the sound effect. He's going to make it. He's going to he's gonna make him go to sleep. It was literally like you threw a brick at a wall or something. That's what it sounded like. It was pretty awesome. Oh, he's going to bench press him. Go! Oh, he is done. Can we see a jackhammer here? Oh, spear, 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 spear. There it was. The spear by Goldberg. And is that going to be all she wrote? Goldberg, Brock. Oh, no. He's going to jackhammer him too. Oh, this is it. The end is nigh. He's got him up. Boom! Let it be. One, two, no! Kick out! Kick out! He kicked out! He kicked out! He kicked out! La 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 la! Oh, what the? That is strength right there, I'll tell you that much. Goldberg. Broccoli. Oh, shoulder block. We have two more Raws and then a pay-per-view. And that'll conclude at Survivor Series when this all ends here. Oh, Kamora Lock. He's going to break his arm. Do you remember when I said they don't really like each other? If he really breaks his arm. Oh, Goldberg. He is a martial arts expert, remember. Getting out of it. He's the man who ended Go uh, Bret Hart's career by kicking him straight in the face. Oh, punch to the head. Goldberg, uh-oh, throwing him in the corner. This is bad for Brock. Oh, he's just taking him up top. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fall away slam. Holler, if he, he bounced all the way across the ring. That could be it. That could be all she wrote. No, two count with authority. Kicking out. I oh, staying on top of him. Staying right on top of him. Here he goes, Goldberg. Oh, just stupid move by Goldberg there. What's Brock got? Is he going to take him to Suplex City? Oh, power slam. Is Brock Lesnar about to turn into dick mode? Oh, the triple power bombs. And remember, Goldberg's kids and family are watching outside in the crowd. You can see him in the front row. Right over there, triple power bomb. Oh, here comes the pain. Stay down. Here comes the pain. Up and down he goes. One. Two, 
three, no, 2.9, repeating forever, infinite, repeating with a line over the top, meaning it goes on forever. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Taking him up top. Goldberg in a bad place. No, is he gonna get a top rope spear? Top rope clothesline by Goldberg. Oh, one more spear could put down Brock Lesnar if he could connect. Oh, no, DDT. He reversed it. Brock reversed it. And now he's just telling Goldberg to get up. Brock is reversing it. He's in control. No, but reversal by Goldberg. No, he's got it. Wrenches him down with a suplex. Gut wrench. Oh, Brock ain't wasting any more time here. He's picking him up. No, Goldberg reversal. Neck breaker here. Oh, he's picking him up as he's looking for a jackhammer. Could very well be a jackhammer if he's got him. Looking jackhammer. On to Goldberg. Goldberg looking to hit it on Brock. Down he goes. You could count to a million. That's got to be it. That, no. That was 2.9 repeating again. That is about as close as you can get to the ultimate end. Oh, but Brock just a punch to the face of Goldberg. And an axe handle stupidly like, like Goldberg did earlier. Knee to the head. Just an effective knee to the head. Brock turning into a beast. Oh, just stomping on the midsection, stomping on the body parts of the man known as Goldberg. He is in a bad place. Look at that blood come down his face. Oh, Suplex City, here we go. The WWE, boom, down he goes. And picking him up, not wasting, no. He was tripped in the leg by Goldberg, and Goldberg looking for an easy pin here. I hope it doesn't end like this, because that would be really dumb. No, that's only a one and a half count. And the crowd is on their feet, though. They are going crazy for this one. This is Goldberg's house right now. Goldberg. Goldberg. He's looking for a spear here, maybe? Jackhammer? Or just a kick to the back. Again, this is unsanctioned. Meaning the WWE does not condone it. He reverses another spear into a DDT, picking him up. Now this is about as close as you can get for a match between these two. What a matchup right here on Monday night. Raw. Uh-oh. Goldberg. Looking for something. Oh, he's going to lift him up for a power bomb out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, down onto the ground. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Picking him up again. Wham and bam and slam and thank you, ma'am and Goldberg. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and there it was a mini attitude adjustment by Brock Lesnar. He's Reversal by Goldberg. Right Goldberg's here. got him. Look at power slam, body slam. Picking him back up. Spear, spear, spear. That could be the end of Brock Lesnar. He just speared him in half. He broke it in half. No, kick out by Brock Lesnar. This is about a tough a fight as you'll ever get. I think Goldberg still has a jackhammer stretching his back. Oh, he is winded. He is winded very much. Neckbreaker? No. Oh, what a suplex by Goldberg. Trying to pull out some of those Japanese suplexes that we've seen before. And Goldberg is charged. Waiting. Waiting. Oh, reversed by Brock. And now he's got him right where he wants. Picking him up for a suplex city, just throwing him over the top. Goldberg doing his little, or Brock doing his pounce, excuse me. 
Getting ready for the F5. Oh, reversed by Goldberg. Reversed by Goldberg. A suplex of his own by Brock. On to Brock. Goldberg. Excuse me. Getting my words twisted here. Spear again. Another spear. That has got to be all she wrote. Goldberg not wasting any time. Staying on top of him. Oh, look at Jackhammer again. If he hits this, this is very well the end. Jackhammer. He's got him. He's got him up. And down it goes. Call it a match. No! He kicks out somehow. And this isn't even a pay-per-view. Oh, looking for that powerbomb again. Brock Lee looking at five. Got him up. Ragdollin. Goldberg. Down he goes. And Goldberg, a bloody mess. No! Two count only. Two count only. What is going to happen when these two meet for real at Survivor Series? I'm telling you what. RKO, no! RK, no! Kick to the midsection. Look at Suplex City here. Oh, this is bad for Goldberg. Throwing him around like a rag doll. Boom! Down on the back of his head. Rock picking him up. The lifeless carcass of Bill Goldberg. Looking for an F5. Is William going to be able to reverse this one? No. Uh-uh. There he is. Done. 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 No. Can somebody just lose? It should be in your contract. Somebody's got to put that in their contract that they lose. I guarantee that was in somebody's contract. The most epic of matches of all time. Oh, now we're gonna we're gonna wrench the neck. The most epic of wrenches. The neck wrench. Spear! 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 Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. Oh, shoulder block. That was a thing of beauty. Just amazing. Picking him up. Looking jackhammer. <laughs> suplex. Not a jackhammer. Just a regular suplex. Wrenching his neck now. A little return on investment there. You know what I mean? I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been so and Denim Dan in the front row is having a great time with this match on Monday Night Raw. It's not even a pay-per-view. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You got to remember. And we want to believe that Goldberg is going to be okay after this with all the blood he's lost. What does that mean for Bill Goldberg going into Survivor Series? Uh-oh, picking him up. We're we looking triple power bomb here. One power bomb. Oh, and the ref's telling him to calm down. He's checking on Bill Goldberg. Bill Goldberg has lost a lot of blood. We have talked about it. He is not feeling good now with the amount of blood he's lost. He needs the medics. He needs the medics. Triple power bomb. Coming up. Serving. Three servings of power bombs. Boom. Here we go. Reversed by Goldberg, though. He's still got some fight left in him. He's got a little bit of fight. And he's got a little bit of jackhammer in him. This is like the fifth jackhammer in the entire match that he has done. And we could see a winner here. That is it, Goldberg, able to escape by just when you thought he lost too much blood. Your winner, Billiam Will 
Will Goldberg is your winner. Oh, and there's Brock. He is up again. Goldberg wants to extend some gratitude for that match. But, of course, Brock doesn't care. Goldberg wants to shake hands. Brock says, F you. And Goldberg is beside himself. He cannot believe what we had just witnessed. Well, you know what we witnessed was a five-star freaking match. I'll tell you that much. I mean, in the sense of the WWE game, not in the sense of actually being a five-star match. You know what I mean? But a sense of the WWE game here. Continuing on to our next event before Survivor Series. We have two matches left leading up to Survivor Series. Goldberg cut a promo, and then Brock won a match. Actually, the other way around. Brock won a match. Brock cut a promo. Goldberg won a match. Yeah, all right. Let's go to the calendar. Woo! Two more weeks before Survivor Series. What is happening on this Monday night? Raw. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. They want to have a match. But we're not going to let that happen. We're going to edit this. Because we don't want to have another match. Edit. Can I just... Edit this. We just customize this match. Let's just give it to anybody because it doesn't matter. British Bulldog and the Rocco one are going to have a match because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's accept it. Because that's not the way that it's going to go down, right? Here's what's going to go down. We're going to have a show closing promo. Which we are going to call out. Uh, where's he at? Where's Goldberg? Goldberg's gonna call out Brock Lesnar because he just won the match. Goldberg won and he's gonna call out Brock and be like, Hey Brock, I beat ya. That's my best Goldberg impression. Alright, there it is. We don't want to have another match. I'm gonna have a promo from the man known as Goldberg. Start the show. We don't want another hour long match, I'll tell you that much. I know what we got here. We could have done a, an awesome tag match. You know, they do those awesome tag matches where they have the guys wrestle tag style or whatever. You know what I mean? All right, Goldberg going to call out Brock Lesnar tonight. Tonight, fella, tonight. Tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight, tonight, tonight. We have a real fan favorite in a match that will be etched in the record books. Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. Goldberg. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are not going to play it because that's what we do here. Goldberg. He's got to cut a promo. He hasn't said any words yet. He is going to come out and tell the entire world what's on his mind. Goldberg. Clap, clap, clap. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, this should be good. Let's see what the man known as Bill... Goldberg has to say. A fan favorite. You know me, and you know I'm not someone who gets hung up on things. I just give my best and do my best and let the rest take care of itself. But it's not that simple anymore because things have changed. People don't seem to know the meaning of respect. The fans are eating it up. I faced the best in the business. This business can throw at you time and again. I've stood against whatever opponent was waiting for me time and again. I've managed to come down out with the victory. So if some idiot 
thinks for even a second that he's going to rattle me, then he's stupider than he looks, which is, which I thought was impossible. I know you're feeling safe and cozy in that dressing room the authority set up for you, Brock Lesnar. You feel like no one can get to you, right? You're wrong. I'm coming for you either way. So why don't you be a man and come out here and face me? Here comes the beast incarnate, Barack Lesnar. Coming all the way down to the ring. He's got some words to say back. To Goldberg and we'll quick cut to the to the promo once again I find myself having to come out here in front of all you morons and set the record straight so shut your mouth and listen and you just might learn something you've got some testicular fortitude to come out here while I'm addressing my legions of fans whatever it is you have to say better be important or we're going to have some serious problems Something tells me you're not very happy to see me right now. Oh, trust me, I get it. If I was you, I'd be the last person I want to see right now. Ha ha, you're funny. I like funny people. That just makes everything so happy. And I want to be happy, you know? It's just so hard, so hard. Why daddy make it so hard? It's okay. You're okay, son. Relax, son. You got this, son. Just break him in half now. I want to break you. I want to break your face, your legs, your hands, your feet, your arms, your back. I want to completely and utterly break you. I want to break not just your body, but your spirit too. I want to end you. I want you to be miserable for the rest of your sad, pathetic life. I'd be more than happy to face you in a match. And I guarantee that when it happens, you'll be sorry you ever mess with me. Because when the time comes, the WWE Universe is going to witness your total destruction. Arg! I can't wait any longer. I want to fight right now. I've got so much excess energy and pent up rage. And I just want to unleash it. Whether it's you or another superstar. I don't really care. But you're the one in the ring with me now. So I've got my eyes on you. You just keep digging yourself deeper. You just keep digging yourself a deeper grave with those insults. All it's doing is making me angrier. So go ahead. Keep putting your foot in your mouth and I'm going to use mine to kick your ass. Very well put. After all that's been said and done between me and you, I'm no longer interested in having a match with you. I'm only interested in having a fight with you. I don't care about winning a match so much as I'm getting my hands around your neck and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And Goldberg leaves. And Goldberg barely wins that promo. There it is. He wants a unsanctioned fight. A street fight of sorts. A no-holds-barred match of sorts. Anything goes of sorts. Appetizers are over. Time for the Rocco one versus the British Six Bulldog. Nobody cares. Next. next event. Here we, we go. Here we go. Round and round we go. When we stop, no one knows. All right. We're going to proceed to the next event. Calendar. We are here on Monday Night Raw. Brock and Goldberg, let's see what they have in store for us tonight. Brock and Goldberg have this little thing going on that we like to call a match at the end of the show. Unfortunately, this is such a crazy match. Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, The Undertaker vs. Kevin Owens, Mark Henry, and Sheamus. All right. I like it, though. We're going to edit this. We're going to customize this. Because remember, he just said that he wants a fight. We're going to have a backstage brawl in the locker room because that's what we do. Brock. Brock. There's Goldberg. 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 Where's he at? There it is. Goldberg. Goldberg. Match options. Momentum is normal. I have it on slow. It should have been normal. There it is. Brock Goldberg in a backstage fight brawl thing here. 
continue this rivalry from going off the deep end. Let's accept this show. Let's start it up. What? Did we sim this by accident? Uh, I hit the start button. Did I do it by accident? Uh, what happened? I don't know what happened. Uh, let's load. Did I actually go and do the match when I wasn't looking to do the match? I hit the start button. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's load this up. Backstage brawl, brother dude. Are right, the matches finished? Uh, what do we got here? Did I just do this? Goldberg has recovered, blah, blah, blah. Did we, did we actually skip this? Uh, yes. We might have accidentally skipped it. Oops. Well, we need to just, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to SmackDown. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we will just do it here. They're not even on this show, but SmackDown main event is going to be a Naomi, Naomi Prom. Naomi Prom. All right. SmackDown main event backstage brawl. We screwed it all up. Let's edit the show. Sorry, Cena and Orton, you're getting bumped. One on one backstage brawl. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. One on one. We accidentally did this match and we actually hit the options button. I didn't know you could sim the whole show by putting the start button. That's something I didn't know. The options button. You could simulate the whole show. All right, SmackDown. Because this match deserves hype on SmackDown, even though they're not SmackDown superstars. Black and blue and Sami Zayn, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and AJ. Here we are on Smack It Down, Smack It Down, Smack 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 Smack, smack It Down. <laughs> All right, let's get over to Brock and Goldberg. Sim, sim, sim. Sweet match there, I'll tell you what. Undertaker's going to call out The Miz for some reason. Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns. And Brock and Goldberg, here we go. The big backstage brawl. They saw each other in the parking lot, and they got mad at each other because of that scathing promo that they cut or whatever. Here goes Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar backstage brawl. Taking a look backstage the final oh countdown. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We just, we just found out this just took place in the back. Goldberg and Brock are brawling. But remember this Sunday at Survivor Series live on the WWE Network for $9.99. You can watch Brock Lesnar and Goldberg go at it. You can also watch the entire Survivor Series pay-per-view and WrestleMania Royal Rumble and the rest of them for free with the WWE Network $9.99. Buy now, buy now, buy now. Brock Lesnar, Goldberg. Oh, this is going to be a fight backstage. Unsanctioned fight. We've said unsanctioned so many times, but this is legit not a match. It's a brawl. It's a backstage brawl. You're on SmackDown on that box. Watch out for that box. Your head will get stuck inside of it. And that's something you don't need. Oh, right into that. Oh, and right into that. And one more. Right into... Uh-oh, he's going he's gonna to pump in or slam him. Oh, almost on that cart. That wheelie cart. Oh, elbow to the face. No, Goldberg reverses. Down with a reverse DDT and that box goes flying. I want to thank one of our premium sponsors. Arm through the head. When you have a headache, just put your arm through his head. Oh, into the room. The locker room. Trash can by Bill Goldberg. Oh, hitting with that trash can. But Brock able to recover and counter. Uh-oh, suplex. 
Suplex onto the trash can. And the trash can is dented after that. Bill Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. Uh oh, picking him up. Oh, just wrenching him down. Holding the arm is Goldberg. Brock looking for that triple power bump. I mean, Goldberg, I am losing my train of thought there. Brock holding the arm. Goldberg with a power bomb. Throws him into that trash can. He just trips and the trash can falls up. Where is he throwing him? Outside, back outside, near that box, and the box goes flying around. Brock with a punch to the gut. He's got him in that box. Oh, just rams his head right into it. Oh, and there's the box. German suplex on the box. you got to believe that is it. After a move like that on a cardboard box where it doesn't even bend. Oh, we got triple Germans. Suplex City. It ain't pretty. Suplex City. A kick to the head. Goldberg looking bad, bad. Knee to the head now. Oh, into that box. That crate over there where they carry all the cords for the show. Down he goes. Into the trash can. He's barely. Uh-oh, he's looking at five. He's looking at. If, if, if he delivers this, this is it. He's got him up. Into the trash can, maybe. His head hits that trash can. He is down. And Brock Lesnar lays out Bill Goldberg. We are moments away. From the great blow-off that is Survivor Series. Actions do speak louder than words in a backstage brawl. Here on SmackDown, we're continuing on over to Survivor Series. The lovely pay-per-view that everybody's favorite. Thank you, Naomi, for that awesome promo. Survivor Series. Here we go. The Miz versus The Undertaker. The Ascension versus The Usos. Orton Cena. Neville Axel. Goldberg Brock. Six-man Survivor Series match. And Bray Wyatt and Kofi Kingston, our main event of the evening. Who's got the freaking championship? I don't know. Bray? Does Bray have it? Does Bray have the... Does Bray have the WWE... Does Kofi? Does Kofi have the championship? No, neither of them do. All right, here we go. Let's start the show. Survivor Series. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived, and here we are. Welcome to Survivor Series. We've got the usual full house, and we are ready to get this party started. These fans are about ready to tear this roof off. And now it's time for a Survivor Series match. It's going to be tough to top. Sit tight for singles action. Coming up next, we have a real fan favorite in a match that is sure to not disappoint. Up next, we have singles action. Uh, this should be great. 
We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. I love it. It's a new day. Yes, it is. The power of positivity and Bill Goldberg listening to the new day to get ready for Rock Lesnar. Goldberg did not expect that. I forgot I changed his entrance. I need to change it. <laughs> but here we go. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg one on one at Survivor Series. The match has been boiling. This started out as fantasy warfare in a video game called WWE 2K17. Now the reality is coming, Drew, and we are seeing Goldberg and Brock Lesnar finally squaring off in this ring. We can run down the history. Goldberg returned to Monday Night Raw after an absence of several, several years. Brock Lesnar says he was king. He is WWE me. They had a little unsanctioned fight in the ring. And Goldberg got bloody. Went to a backstage brawl where Goldberg was defeated by Brock Lesnar after an F5. Now here on the pay-per-view Survivor Series, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg are going to settle, settle the war. Just picking up like a rag doll. Remember, Goldberg's family is live in attendance. His child and his wife, his son and wife are watching this for the first time ever. Ever they're going to see their dad live and wrestle. And that's why this is the last match for Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. And Goldberg says, you're last. 
You can knock him around all oh, you picking like, him up. But he's just gonna keep Down he goes with a suplex. What a nice suplex there. I will give him that one. Oh, stretch muffler. We have not seen the stretch muffler in a long, long time. That move is amazing. I love that move. I love it, Michael. Uh-oh. Down he goes. Oh, worked in the leg. He's got the leg. Oh, and just sweep the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Oh, elbow to the gut and a close. I know. He's got a perch. 619, maybe. Is he going to 619 him? No, he gets up. That was close. Never wanted to see Goldberg deliver a 619. Picking him up. Knee to the face, to the face. Stomp to the back. Pin. Really going for an early pin here. Ooh, so close. Elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. And he throws him down. Oh, just takes him down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me down? Brock with a punch to the face. Goldberg going to get suplexed. Oh, just throws him over his head like a rag doll again. Brock looking very OP in this match. Very, very OP in this match indeed. Picking him up again. And again just tossing him down to the floor. This has been mostly Brock Lesnar thus far. Tell him to get up just be in dick mode like he always is. That's what we love about Brock Lesnar. He just doesn't care. He's the most legit guy in the WWE. He's here for a paycheck, and his paycheck is to beat up Bill Goldberg tonight. But no! Double underhook suplex by Goldberg. Taunting to the crowd. He's getting hyped. Because we all know that Goldberg doesn't get hype. He stays hype. That is his secret. If you didn't know, now you know. Throws him into the corner. Off the ropes. Picks him up. Spear! A spear out of nowhere. Tosses him 500 feet in the air and spears him in half. Brock is broken in half. Oh, that was as close as you can get right there. I'll tell you that much. Oh, this has turned a different way than the last time these two met. Goldberg busting open Brock Lesnar the hard way. Thanks to Dirt Sheets for teaching me those words. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna work the leg. Going for a pin. No, no, no. That is not how you keep a beast down. You've got to deliver a little more damage than that. What has Brock got in store? Goldberg fighting back though. Oh, he's gonna suplex him himself. A pump handle slam. No, it's reversed. It's reversed by Brock. Brock looking at five. Is he going to be able to deliver this with force? Got him up. Got him up. Boom shakalaka. One, two, no, two count only, two count only. It's coming close. It's really getting close as we come down the wire here. Oh, just a disrespectful kick to the midsection. Stomping the limbs again, the midsection. And working the limbs. This is the match that everybody wanted to see at Survivor Series. A kick to the midsection again. 
and punch and punch and punch and punch and punch and punch. Pin him, pin him, pin him. No, two count. Woo. The ref's hand was very close to slapping a three count, slapping a base. But we didn't expect him to be busted open right there. Now he's busted open. They're both busted open. Let's hope that the medical people in back are watching this and they're going to rush out here and clean him up. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen now. Both are bloody. We can only hope it's going to be this bloody at the real Survivor Series. Oh, triple powerbomb. Triple powerbomb. If he can hit all of these this could very well be the end one two three what triple powerbomb caught him out of nowhere oh my goodness catching spear we didn't even have a jackhammer and I could not believe the way this one played out it was the triple powerbomb and a shocking finish right here. Nobody expected it to go this way. But that is it. That is how it plays out. Goldberg loses to Brock Lesnar here at Survivor Series tonight and only tonight. Here it is. Oh, and he is just standing tall. Brock Lesnar is tall over Bill Goldberg. This is coming down to the end. And that is it. Here is your winner in this rivalry, Brock Lesnar. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Brock Goldberg in the can now. Brock Lesnar is the winner of this feud.